Welcome back to Leadership Discussions. We're here with Pastor Kong Hee, the founder of City Harvest Church, and I'm just enjoying reminiscing and you know the principles of, of how City Harvest Church was built. And so thank you, Pastor, for your time. Uh, you know, we ended off the last session, we we're talking about the importance of the word. And you know, I wanted to kind of shift because I think another big part of uh, how the church was built um, is on the Great Commission. And uh, we t- many times get stuck in the go part, <laughs> but we need to move into making disciples, the D word. Um, you know, in America, many nations, I think people came to Korea and different places and they tried to model, you know, cell groups and discipleship, but without the real heart of discipleship. And discipleship has been uh, a big part of the church. I, you know, you always say this, one thing you're good at in discipleship, and I would agree. <laughs> and so can we just delve in that and, and talk about the importance of discipleship and, and maybe your concept um, and being able to explain to people who don't really understand that or maybe had a bad experience with it. Yeah, yeah. I think discipleship is is the most important thing. Evangelism is just the beginning part. Mm. It's just the door, the living room. It's really discipleship. We are to make disciples. And disciples are not born. Mm. They are made. Made. Mm. Yeah. And and I'm so proud of you, Derek, because you're one of my disciples. Yeah. And you always had the spark. You're always you're always full on for Jesus. And I had the privilege to have you close to me for about 16, 17 years. Yeah, yeah. And now you're shaking the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm so proud of you, Derek. Yeah, I learned a lot, Pastor. <laughs> yeah. But, good but, times and hard times. Good times and hard times. <laughs> but every one of us, we, we need disciples. I'm mm. blessed in my own life. Mm. They are wonderful disciples. Yeah. They help me along the way. Mm. And so in discipleship, our values are challenged. Mm. You know, uh, you can go Bible school and get information. Yeah, you go Bible school and and you can learn anything these days. From YouTube, you can get information. Yeah. From uh, social media, you can get information. But who is that to challenge you? Mm. Who is that to say that, you know what, brother? I I, I see a little weakness. And, <laughs> you know, sometimes we, we wait until things are very bad and then we plan for an intervention. Yeah. I don't like intervention. No. It's very drastic. <laughs> tiring. <laughs> tiring. And, and it's, it's, it's like a nuclear bomb. It's yeah. like, you know, you're hitting something with a sledgehammer. Mm. But discipleship is a, it's living lives together. You mm. look at Jesus. He had 12 men. Mm. And one betrayed him, so he left with 11. And these 11, and together with Matthias, mm. they changed the whole world. Yeah. If you look in the natural, Jesus' life was total failure. Mm. I mean, his ministry was short-lived, three and a mm. half years. Mm. He died as mm. a criminal. Mm. And what he had left to show for, 11 uneducated men. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they were fishermen, they were farmers. Small church. <laughs> yeah, and, and uneducated people. And, yeah. and yet, wow. we have 2.4 billion Christians yeah. in the world today, mm-hmm. one in three people on this planet Earth mm. is a follower of Christ mm, mm. because of those 11 men. Mm. That's the power of discipleship. Yeah. And Jesus was a, a master disciple maker. Mm. And so before he left, he gave us a great commission. And what did he say? I, I love this. He started by saying, all power and authority is given to me. Mm-hmm. So the power part. And then at the end, he said, Lord, I'm with you always. Mm. The presence part. Mm. So we, we always want the power and the presence mm, of God. Mm, mm. But what is the middle part? Mm. The middle part is that you go and make disciples. And then he, he, he give us the specific. Mm. He says, how you make disciples is you teach them. So that's teaching. You got to teach them the word. You teach them. But that, then there's something else. He, that, you know, teaching, you, you can learn it. Like again, I say, mm. information you can get anywhere. He says, and then you baptize them mm. in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mm. Now, we always say, oh, that's the baptismal formula. Mm. But I want you to think beyond that. Mm. Jesus is talking about, you know, you got to immerse them mm. in the Trinity. And mm. When you think about the Trinity, what do you think about? Mm. You think about one thing. You think about the love that they share. Mm. You think about the communion. The Father loves the Son. Mm-hmm. The Son loves the Father. And the Holy Spirit is the bond of love between them. Mm. It's, a, it's a communion of love. Mm. Immerse them into this communion of love. And again, I, I say, like I said in earlier episodes, 
the greatest is love. Mm. The highest pursuit, I used to think when I was younger, the highest pursuit is revival. Mm. And then later when I have a church and a growing church, I said the greatest pursuit is to have a mega church. Mm. The greatest pursuit is to do this, to do that. To... But the older I get, the more mature I am as a Christian, the greatest pursuit is to love the way God loves. Mm. And that is the power of discipleship. Mm. Discipleship must make us the most loving. Yeah. The most loving. Love must be at the center of everything that we do. Mm. And Jesus was so successful. You look at Jesus. He had James and John, yeah. <laughs> sons of thunder. They're called sons of thunder because they are so temperamental and they have an anger problem. Mm. You know, and whenever they they are upset, <laughs> they just blasted. Yeah. They call went down to, fire. They call down fire. <laughs> they want to call down fire. They are very impatient. Yeah. They want the position. Yeah. The, the the mother of James and John wanted the two kids to be on the right and left of Jesus. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a problematic uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, brothers, two problematic brothers. And then yet, the apostle of thunder became the apostle of love. Wow, wow. And you look at Jesus. Mm. Never once mm. did Jesus rebuke John. Mm. If anything, he's known as John the beloved one. If there's a disciple, Jesus could be really upset with and mm. disappointed with. I mean, he could be upset with Judas, could be upset with Simon Peter, mm. but he could be upset with James and John mm. because they always misrepresent him. Yeah. And they're so angry all the time. Mm. But yet, John felt his love mm. because John said that he was the beloved one. He felt his love and that broke his heart. Mm. From an angry young man, he became the apostle of love. Mm. First of all, personally, I want that to be my life story. Mm. I want to, from a hot-headed, ambitious, aggressive uh, uh, minister of the gospel, I want to become a loving man. Mm. I, I want one day on my tombstone, somebody will say, here lies mm. a man of love. Wow, beautiful. But above and beyond that, I also want to disciple the way Jesus discipled. That I want to teach people, yeah. immerse and marinate them mm. into this loving communion. Mm. Because out of love comes forth everything. The power and the presence. Yeah, power and the presence. Beautiful. Yeah, I remember uh, one of my first discipleship sessions and uh, you know we went out for a Korean and barbecue and uh, we were there with the sisters and all the guys, we were so hungry and we all opened the door and ran in. <laughs> and then it was, come on guys, the sisters, the door hit them in the, you know, and we all have blind spots, you know, yeah. and not that we're bad people, but we have blind spots, but we need someone who can challenge that and see that, that we're open to. And like you said, when we have that love, we feel safe, you know, yeah. um, that, that someone's not going to expose us yeah. or, or attack us, but, but help us. Yeah. And it has to be done in living life together. Yeah. And, and, you know, the only way you can disciple someone is when you live life together. I mean, you think about Jesus, right? He never started a Bible school. Mm. Jesus didn't start the church really, yeah. but he lived life. Mm. They ate together, they walked together, they spent time together, they fellowship a lot. And, and Jesus was always very honest mm -hmm. with them. And sometimes he can give them a few hard words, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, nobody doubted. He yeah. loved them to the very end. Mm -hmm. He would die for them and he did die for them. Yeah. He served them, he washed their feet. Yeah. Who would do that? Yeah. You know, who would humble himself to such a place? He knew that one of them was going to betray him. Mm. And he washed his feet. Yeah. He washed Judas' wow. feet wow. and serve him. Only, yeah. only Jesus yeah. and only a, a master disciple could do that. Yeah. I mean, for most of us, if, if we know you're going to hurt us, we immediately, yeah, <laughs> yeah stay away. Yeah. You know, that's as far as I would go. Yeah. But not Jesus. Yeah. You know, you could cut him into a million pieces and every mm -hmm. piece would still say, I love you. Wow. And yeah. that is, that's the Jesus that we want to learn from. And I just want to say this, you know, with, with privilege, with the privilege of discipleship, that means when, when people come to you and say, please disciple me, 
with that privilege, you must treasure it mm. and hold on to their lives very carefully mm. and lightly. Mm. Because when they open up their hearts to you, you can crush them. Yeah. And I can tell you, you know, in the early days when I was young, hot-headed, how many lives I have disappointed mm. and hurt mm. and maybe even crushed mm. because of my words, because I thought I'm the pastor, I'm the man of God, I could get away with it. Mm. But the more I serve the Lord, mm. the older I get. Mm. I, I don't want that. Mm. I, I want to motivate through love. Yeah. And I, it's a high honor, high privilege. Derek, it's a high privilege for yeah. me to be your pastor, to be mm. your disciple. Mm. I, I don't take it lightly. Mm. I, I never want to come to a place where I will crush you mm. or disappoint you yeah. to the best of my ability. And I want to hold your life carefully and lightly and mm. treasure you because y you are a, 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 a treasure that mm. I must steward mm. over. Mm. And I think every disciple maker must have that mindset. Yeah. It is, we cannot take it for granted. Well. You know, I'm the commander, you're my foot soldier, so do as I say. Just be my servant and come and serve me. You know, a disciple maker is a servant of all. Yeah. I must serve you and not mm. the other way. Mm. Wow, so good, Pastor. And you know, Jesus said, you're no longer my servants, but you're my friends. Yeah. That was that relationship. And, yeah. and even though Jesus was able to do that, the disciples laid down their lives. They were martyred yeah. because they loved. They never denied him. Never because of that love. It's, it's yeah. a beautiful thing. And, you know, we live in a day, you know, um, we talk about spiritual parenting and spiritual fathers, and you see someone that's got 500 spiritual sons and all that, and you know it's not real. <laughs> Jesus had 11, 12. Um, but, but how do we find that person that can be our disciple? For people that they're watching, maybe um, they're wanting to be a disciple. There's a lot of people out there, they don't have anyone. You know, nothing you talked about was a structure or a connect group or a cell group, even though I think discipleship happens in that. But how do you find a disciple? I always say this, discipleship is like falling in love. But it's, it's in a spiritual sense. Mm. You know, I mean, you could go to a dating app, I guess, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're single, you know, you can go to... <laughs> I don't know. I, it's a different generation. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you can go on, on an app to find disciples. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. like falling in love. Yeah. It, it, it's like this. I, let, let me share with those of you who are watching, you know, 1995. I went to Sabah, East Malaysia. I went to a small little village by the sea where there were pirates. Yeah. And I saw a white, skinny American man. <laughs> Skinnier back then. Though. Skinnier back, back then. <laughs> among all these natives. Uh, wow. Endangering his life. Mm. Because the pirates could come at any time with machine guns or yeah. machete and kill them all. And there he was preaching the gospel. I just fell in love with you, Derek. Mm. You know, in a spiritual sense. Yeah. And I prayed, I said, God, if there's a chance, I like him mm. to, to be my disciple. Wow. I want to train him. I just yeah. said that prayer. Yeah. And then one thing led to another and it happened. Mm. But I never come with a contract and say, Derek, will mm -hmm. you do this? And no. if you be my disciple, I'm, <laughs> you can have this, you know, and then we have what? A prenuptial? <laughs> if things don't work out. <laughs> don't you dare take away my members. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we don't have that, but it's like falling in love. Yeah. There's you, chemistry. And there's chemistry. Mm. There's just chemistry. Yeah. And you just enjoy being with each other. Mm. I think that that the enjoyment part mm. must be there. Yeah. So there got to be that supernatural naturalness and mm. that natural supernaturalism as mm -hmm. well. It's just you just want to be with one yeah. another. Yeah. And and you just first first of all, there got to be that chemistry. And to be a disciple maker, you must first be a disciple. Mm. In order to be a man of authority, you must be under authority. authority. Mm. And so I think, you know, if you're watching and you say, I want to make disciples, first you'll be a disciple to someone. If you have no one to go to, then let me recommend you. This guy <laughs> in Orange County is one of the best disciple makers oh. around. Learn from the best pastor. <laughs> no, I mean, if, if I'm living in Orange County, I come to his church, I want to learn from him. Thank and you, I pastor. want to be a student. The word mm. disciple means a student. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think, you know, on the other side, for me, the cry in my heart was praying is, God, I want to I wanna have fruit and fruit that remains. Yeah. I never wanted you to be a pastor. I never wanted to be a church because pastors are boring. You get the same people every week, all of that. <laughs> but when we met, you know, and, and you asked me and son and you prayed and you said, hey, why don't you come and base here and eventually yeah. come on staff? Uh, at first, my reaction was, I don't want to be a pastor. But the Lord said there's things that he has and she has that you need. 
And so I came and did that. And, you know, and you invited me in and, you know, became spiritual parents and a family and live life with you. But I saw the genuineness in your heart and your passion and uh, not just the success. You know, that time we weren't so international but it was the connection, the heart for God and the passion. But then the amazing thing was that you became our executive pastor. Yeah. And wow, it was, I was traveling all around yeah. and you have thousands upon thousands under your care. Yeah. And it, there's a very big responsibility, yeah. but it, you were up to the challenge. Yeah. You were up to the challenge. Yeah. And that is the, the fruits of discipleship. Yeah. And the other thing is that when you disciple somebody, it's, it's, like, it's like parenting. Mm. You, you cannot always be the the big and mighty father mm. using concrete authority mm. you got to imagine uh, eventually uh, come to a place where you become friends mm. yeah you know like i'm sure you and your dad you're like friends yeah. you, know? Yeah. you know your dad yeah. in your old age will lean on you yeah. my dad in his old age is yeah. leaning on me and yeah. i'm like his friend yeah. so it, it cannot be a one way street that i control you i control you yeah. First, there shouldn't be any control. And you work for me, you work for me. But at some point, I, I saw a transition. You're rising up to be a man of God in your own right. Mm -hmm. The anointing, the calling of God was upon you. Mm -hmm. And then son and I were praying. And then it was really an inconvenient time. Mm -hmm. Because in a natural way, I needed you mm -hmm. here in Singapore. Mm -hmm. I needed you to be the executive pastor. I needed mm -hmm. you to be a pillar in the house. Yeah. But, but I could sense. God wanted you to go back to America. Mm. So we kept it in our hearts and we prayed. And then mm. one day you came, you said, yeah. I think I need to go back. Mm, 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 mm. And that's just a confirmation. And as a good spiritual father, as a disciple, I must let you go. Mm, mm, mm. In, yeah, I think in America, when you are in the West, when you're about 18, you leave the family yeah. and you learn yeah. independence. Yeah. And uh, you've been with me for 17 years. Yeah. It's time for you to, to leave the house, to leave the nest. Yeah. And look at you. Yeah. Today you're shaking the world. Thank you, Pastor. Thanks for pouring in us. I, I love this is the kingdom principle. We need to make disciples, raise up sons and daughters uh, in the kingdom of God. It's not about a model or, or an infrastructure. There's many ways to do it, but it's the heart. It's the chemistry. It's the heart of a father or a heart of a mother for spiritual children, raising them up and helping them to come into uh, who and what God's called them to do. Such a, a wonderful session, Pastor. We look forward to seeing you in the next session, our final session with Pastor Kong Hee here from Singapore. Share this with somebody. Come on, that's looking for a disciple. If you need a discipler, pray about it. Go and have a heart for other people and God will bring you to the right people, just like he did for me. We'll see you in the next episode.